dear students this is dr b sandil and it is my responsibility to handle the subject strategic cost management for your class this is lcs video for chapter number 1 you all have studied cost accounting at your ug level this subject namely strategic cost management is advanced level of cost accounting subject that you have studied at ug level i think it is in uh, fifth semester of your ug maybe bcom or bcom ca whatever it may be let me uh, brief chapter number 1 of strategic cost management as far as meaning is concerned what you have studied in cost accounting the same meaning can be applied for the subject strategic cost management then what is cost accounting or cost management process of identifying classifying recording summarizing and reporting of cost data for various purposes it is called as cost accounting or cost management the same meaning can be applied for strategic cost management also i am repeating once again process of identifying classifying recording summarizing and reporting of cost data or cost information for various purposes it is also called as strategic cost management then what is the basic difference between uh, normal cost accounting as well as strategic cost management or cost accounting if you ask actually if you look at this slide the third point is differences between scm and traditional cost management I'm talking about the same uh, at this stage right what is traditional cost management or normal cost management it focuses on short term goals of a business organization that can be achieved within a year or less than one year what about strategic cost management it focuses on long term objectives of a business organization where the organization can gain competitive advantages when compared with its own competitors in this manner strategic cost management differs from traditional cost management or normal cost management concept for this introduction let me uh, brief the other topics of chapter number 1 the second one need for scm need for strategic cost management uh, various needs various purposes for which uh, scm concept is required on the part of a manufacturing concern or a concern which is offering a particular type of service i am focusing on main purposes for which we are in need of scm concept first one for enhanced efficiency what is efficiency achieving something at a reduced cost with a minimum efforts right this is the main purpose for which scm is required uh, other purposes are to reduce cost maybe cost of production or cost of rendering services whatever it may be then other needs are to improve the quality of the product or services offered by the organization then cost reduction we can add on so many other uh, purposes for which scm are being implemented in any business organization i mentioned about the basic difference between scm and tcm already the next component is value chain analysis what is value chain it is a process in which a value of a product or service is being added up in each and every stage of the manufacture manufacturing or each and every step in which a we are offering a service for example i am procuring raw material from the supplier i have to convert the same into finished goods i have to pack it i have to deliver it to the end user in all these stages as far as possible value of the product is to be improved it is called as value chain analysis it is a concept where we can identify the areas in which we can give importance for improving the value of the product as well as where we can reduce various cost elements then next topic is quality and quality management it is a simple word what is what is quality a standard right uh this ability of your product to fulfill the needs or requirements of a customer it must be up to the standard or up to the expectation of a customer in such a way what is quality management if you ask process of managing the quality of your product 
and a reduce the cost this topic is closely connected with the, the next one cost of quality we all know very well that whenever we are focusing on quality of a product or quality of a service we have to spend more is it possible for us to improve quality without spending more it is possible only in the long run it is not possible in the short run obviously we have to spend more for example i can give an example we have to install new technology maybe from our country or from abroad or whatever maybe so we have to install a new technology for enhancing the quality of our product for which we have to spend more obviously right right so during initial stage we have to spend more but in the long run we can have control over various cost elements because it is like fixed cost right so once it is incurred with the same cost we can improve our profitability as well as productivity continuously so different types of cost are there which are involved in this concept namely cost of quality that can be discussed in the class then a uh, lean system it is closely connected with a strategic cost management concept where we can improve the profitability productivity we can reduce cost and so on then next topic is just in time it is closely connected with a lean system so it, this concept reduces lead time what is lead time if you ask up lead time is a time gap between Uh, procurement of goods as well as delivery of finished goods uh, a small correction uh, it indicates the time gap between procurement of raw materials and delivery of finished goods if we implement uh, this method just in time we can reduce the lead time so that uh, we can fulfill the needs and requirements of customers within a shorter period then what is jit so based on the requirements of our customer we have to procure raw materials and we have to convert the same into finished goods so stocking of raw material is a very big question mark in this concept in general manufacturers are used to uh, store huge volume of raw materials it may lead to unnecessary locking up of working capital on the part of raw material this problem can be avoided when we are implementing jit in our organization so we need not spend more with the, with the mini, meager amount of working capital we can procure raw material we can convert the same into finished goods we can supply the same on time then kaizen costing it is just opposite to target costing what is target costing before manufacturing a product we have to fix the total cost within which a product can be manufactured then what about kaizen costing it is just opposite to what i mentioned now so we have to produce a product then we we should have control over the cost of producing the same so we have to focus on the areas in which we can give importance for reducing various cost elements that's all about chapter number 1 it is just introduction to strategic cost management thank you students have a nice day